It was 1991, and I was carrying my son. And little did I know what was coming afterwards. One day I'm walking, and I'm carrying him. He's in my, carrying my son in my belly, I should say. Let me be clear. <laughs> and I'm walking, and my hip gives out. When I go to the doctor, the, the OBGYN, he informs me, oh, it's just your body adjusting to the extra weight. It'll be fine six weeks after you have, you give birth. I'm like, okay. So we go through the process and I'm getting bigger and, and my, I, my hips are giving out. It actually was my left hip, it was giving out. And ladies and gentlemen, it did not get better after my son was born in September, okay. I ended up having to have hip surgery hip surgery several months like after my son was born. So now imagine this, you are brand new mother, home with your child, nice, beautiful baby son, we're walking around and all of a sudden you're going to get him a bottle or something and you go down and you don't even know if you can hold yourself up, much less your son. That was so scary, so scary to me. I was very, very concerned because they didn't know what it was. Six weeks later, it was getting worse. Come to find out, there was a breakdown of the fluid in my hips from something I was diagnosed with a year or two prior to that. And I was given some medication, some prescription medication for that. And this was a side effect. So now here I am, January, following that September, now in surgery, leaving my son, <laughs> my, my precious boy, um, with someone else to take care of. And just think about it. I was now had the surgery, come back home. Now I'm taking care of him from the bed. From the bed, ladies and gentlemen. But you know something? Here's what I have to say is God always provides a way. He always provides a way. What happened with this scenario gave me what I needed to be able to rely on him. Because think about this. There is no one in my circle at the time, my mother, my grandmother, you know, when you get in your 50s, 60s, 70s, that's when you have hip surgery, okay? Mine, I was the first one in my family to even experience that, and I'm in my 20s. Yeah, when most 20 year olds, they're partying, you know, they're taking their children out to the park and playground, I'm trying to get my life together walking. And one thing I have to say is I was very grateful for the surgery because I was able to walk and at a point that no one knew that I had the hip surgeries. I was very grateful for that. I've had five surgeries since then, five different hips. I know, yes, I have two hips, but two on one side, three on the other. But it has grown my faith to a tremendous, tremendous place. And I'm happy to say that. And that is how my life went. But... <laughs>